Hey everybody, Mike here and welcome to the channel. Well, in today's short video, we're going to talk about shortcuts, where to find them, how to create your own and how to add them to your uh, shortlist, if you will, right? So if you go to any uh, menu where you have commands that have a shortcut, they will be displayed, right? So if I go up here to create, for example, extrude has the E letter as a shortcut, whole has H and so forth, right? Modify, uh, we got press pull is this guy, we got fillet is F and so forth and so on. So that's how you find one, right? Now, let's say you don't know which uh, command you want to use. Uh, I don't know, split body, for example. Let's say you don't know what menu that is, right? You would hit the S key on the keyboard to get this design shortcut, right? And uh, let's see, split body. So I just start typing split body, right? Now, when I click on it, I got this little up arrow. And what it will do is it will add it to the shortcut, which is right here. Right now, I've got two icons, right? I click on that little arrow, boom, now it's three. So next time I wanna do that, I hit the S key and my third symbol right there is split body. So that's how you add it to that bar. Now let's say for whatever reason, I want to create a complete shortcut of my own, right? So what I would do is I would go to, uh, let's see, we'll take one of these menus, modify chamfer, for example, right? So I got three dots going on here. So if I click on these three dots, I can pin it to the toolbar, pin it to the shortcuts, or I can change keyboard shortcut. That's what I want to do. And apparently there's not one assigned just that, right? So I'm going to click on that and it's going to say, what do I want to use? I don't know. Let's say the C. Now it already has, um, already has a shortcut for something else. So I'll hit delete and let it do shift c Oop. so shift c there you go apparently that's fine okay so we're gonna hit okay and now if you go up there it says chamfer is shift c and i can go in here and hit shift c and i'll get that chamfer option that's all there's to it all right Alrighty guys, well, like I said, short and sweet. Hopefully it's helpful for you guys to help you to uh, improve in Fusion 360. See you in the next one. Bye.